Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Statistics. Today we will be talking about two-group hypothesis testing using t-test. As you can see, I've got some data here. Uh, what I have is on-time arrival rates of U.S. airlines for the decade of the 1990s into the decade of the 2000s. What we want to know is if there have been any statistically significant change from one decade to the other. What we need to do is perform a t-test in order to determine if those differences exist. However, in order for us to perform this t-test, we first need to perform an f-test uh, in order to determine if the variances between those two are the same or different, which will lead us to which uh, t-test we need to perform. So to start, we will list our null and alternative hypotheses uh, for our f-test. Our null will always be that our variances are equal, and our alternative will be that our variances are not equal. So our null hypothesis will be the one that we assume to be true unless we can prove otherwise. So if we go up here to our data analysis tool pack, uh, we can scroll down until we find our F test sample for variances. Click OK. For our variable range 1, select my data from the 90s. For variable range 2, the data from the 2000s. I did select my labels, and we are going to select an alpha value of 0 0.05, which will give us a 95% confidence rate. Yes. And then finally, on our output, I will stick that right here below my hypotheses. And by clicking OK, we see our output go up. Uh, you'll notice that we have our data labeled. Uh, we have our means and our variances for both these groups, and we have our observations. Always good to check to make sure you grab the right number of data points. And next, we have our degrees of freedom. And then finally, down here, we've got our F value and our F critical one tail. So, what we need to do is our F value is going to be. Uh, the calculated value of the differences um, between the two variances and our f critical will tell us what value we need to be above before we can determine that there is a statistical difference between the two. In this case as long as our absolute value of our f is greater than our f critical one tail then we will say that there is a difference and we will uh, reject our null hypothesis. So, we can say that because absolute value of f is greater than f crit, we reject our null. And that means we assume our variances are not equal. So the reason we go about doing that um, is that now, as we start our t-test, we will have similar null and alternative hypotheses, except here we are finally going to be talking about the means are equal for our null, and means are not equal for our alternative. And so now when we head back to our data now, tool pack, uh, as we scroll down to the bottom to t-test, notice that we have two available, t-test two sample assuming equal variances, unequal. Without performing our F test first, uh, we are not certain which one of the tests to perform. We have said that these variances are not equal to the variances. And for variable range 1, I will select my 90s. Variable range 2, I will select my 2000s. I will leave my hypothesized mean difference blank because I'm testing to see whether they are different and don't really, I'm not really concerned about how much of a difference it is. Again, we have an alpha value of 0 0.05. And for my output range, I will stick this right here below as well. Now, as we look at the output from our t-test, again, we see our mean, our variance. Observations tell us that we grabbed all 10 of our data points. And then we have some similar values here. We have a t-stat. And if we look at the t-critical two-tail, here, we can make the same sort of assumptions like we did on our F test, is that our T stat will tell us 
will be the measured variance between our two means, and the t-critical tells us what our rejection point is. So if the absolute value of our t-stat is greater than our t-critical t-scale, we would reject a null. In this case, however, our t-stat value is lower, so we will be accepting our null. So because our absolute value of t is less than t-crit, we accept our null, which means we will assume our means are equal. What this tells us then is that while the actual mean of my two sets are slightly different, 79 versus 77, uh, because of the sample sizes we have here, we cannot be um, at least 95% certain um, that these two are different. Another option we have here is to also look at our confidence interval for this set of data. If we go back to our data analysis tool pack again, and we look at our descriptive statistics or our input range where I can grab both sets of data, like my labels, my output, I'm going to side, add in my summary statistics and my confidence level for the mean. Now that I have those, I can calculate my upper and lower limits of my confidence intervals like we did uh, in previous lessons. I'll grab my mean plus my confidence for my upper limit and my mean minus my confidence for the lower. I'll do a quick copy and paste over here. And what we see is that we have, uh, between these two values here, the lower limit on our 90s is uh, lower than the upper value from our 2000s. So there is an overlapping bit of the range, which again, just leads us to the conclusion that there is, there is a potential that there is no difference in the performance from the 90s to the 2000s. It's not saying there one doesn't exist, but uh, based upon the amount of data we have and the variance in that data, well, we cannot say for certain uh, that they are not from the same statistical distribution. And that's really all we have here for doing a t-test. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.